gonna play with my head and I'm gonna put pins in it today and we're gonna do something and that's gonna be neat. I have a new pair of shoes. Okay, the first part of this purchase was a pair of their silk stockings, ivory open work. And I'm very, very, very tempted to actually take this and dye it green so that it matches my green silk uh, 1920s dress that I haven't made yet, but that will go with the double, double cape cloak thing. I have a plan and it involves dye. It's gonna be fun. <gasps> Yay, and a sucker. I have a googly grape today. That's fantastic. And I got myself a button because I absolutely love buttons. I think they're the best thing. And okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh this color is so pretty. I don't have really anything currently to um, wear with this. I mean, this, this is so, here it is. This is such a specific color and I don't feel like I'm getting it very well on the, on this camera. It's a French blue and this is just such a pretty shoe and I had to, I had to, I, I just had to. I think I'm going to have to buy material and sew around it, around this specific shoe because either that or just wear all black and, oh, it's so pretty. I love everything. Mm. I love shoes. I'm making up for all the years that I didn't buy shoes and I just kept wearing the same ones until they were basically falling off my feet. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, okay. This is, this is just the, I adore this company so much. I love way where they put their heels, where they put their heels. I'm not stacked all the way back here. So where my arch is hitting and then where the balance is, this, this is, this is right. This isn't some sort of horror show for me. And the heels aren't so high that I'm, I'm uh, messing up my hips. So I can wear this, this I can do. And I'm, I think these might be the best brand shoe that I've ever actually dealt with. And again, I am not sponsored. This is totally just me because I love shoes. Okay, I have been thinking about this for, I'm not sure how long, at least a couple of months I'm thinking. There, there was this absolutely beautiful cloche hat that came across one of my 1920s Facebook feeds. And it was just, it just came up and I'm just like, how impractical, how completely impractical. This is going to make someone's hair just, just uh, it's gonna catch on it. It's not gonna do any protection at night. Um, if you have bobby pins in, you know that those bobby pins are gonna just poke right through. This is the silliest thing ever. I want one. I want one so bad. And I have been dreaming about this now entirely too much. And now I'm fantasizing about having a lace cloche lingerie hat. And I find that amusing on every level because I have never put the word hat and lingerie in the same sentence. This seems odd, but I am all for broadening the concept of what can be and how things look and different presentation of beauty and aesthetics and, and maybe widening that past whatever certain decade that you're in. I, I think we can, I think we could start moving the beauty bar a little wider. So I'm going to do that by making a lace cloche lingerie cap for the evening time. Plus, it'll go with my little uh, lace jacket and, and then the, um, the nightgown that I made as well. I think this is a great idea. Okay, I do not have a pattern. I have never seen this in person. And in fact, I have done no research on this at all. Uh, I, 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 I'm not even sure who I'm supposed to be crediting this picture to. Um, if I find out, it will be in the description.
Otherwise, it's going to say that it needs updating badly and that I'm not trying to take something that's not mine. I'm very much in admiration of this and I would love to give correct credit. Okay. So I'm going to assume that my picture is over here and not over here. And Okay, so we're over here. When I'm looking at this, I don't feel like I need a lot of instructions. And I already have the lace. I have a large amount of lace. And I'm just gonna roll film. I'm probably gonna put on a movie. And all of this is gonna be hand sewing. None of this will be with the machine. This might end up being a, a montage to a time lapse. I don't know. I will find out after all is said and done and I'm film editing. And whatever that decision is, whew. That ribbon Oh my goodness. So I, I lost my mind and decided to order like two yards of silk ribbon. I've never touched silk ribbon before. That's really nice. Wow. Wow. It, it's like... It's, it makes satin feel like sandpaper. That was interesting. Okay, I will be using the silk ribbon.
lingerie for the head. Take the panties off of your head, everyone. That's not what we're talking about. I would say that having no pattern, totally using the lace that I had, which did not agree with the dimensions that I would recommend, which we'll get to in a moment, has resulted in very much lingerie for the head. No one asked for this. Let me make this clear. No one asked for this. Fairly sure no one wants this. Fairly sure this is the most impractical thing I have ever sewn, created, or imagined. This, this is ridiculous. All right, let's talk about the hat in and of itself. I suggest narrowing this down, the set, this part, to about one inch at the crown. I suggest the major part of the lace here to not be as wide as this. I suggest two to three inches, actually. Regarding the ribbon, I only have one loop, not two. I suggest getting about four yards of, of ribbon and get the good stuff. If you're gonna do this crazy, get the good stuff, get the, get the silk ribbon. And then for the side of this, the reason why I said have this lace more narrow is so that this part has enough room to do the, the full amount of ribbon. The truth is, is that I am very confused about the dimensions of this hat in, rela in relationship to the mannequin head. This is actually starting to like, how'd you, how'd, how'd you do this without this being this huge poof of a, a hat over your hair? And maybe that's what they were going for, but it doesn't look like that on the mannequin head. I don't know. I've done my best. And my best has resulted... <laughs> I love it. I have now pranced around the internet in head lingerie. <gasps> no one asked for this one. Totally me. May your thread tension ever be perfect. And if you find a ridiculous project that you're like, I need that, you go right ahead and make it. Rock on.